Hi everyone and welcome to Astrobloke. My name is Glenn. I am an amateur astrophotographer. If you go online nowadays, you can see many amazing images that have been posted by the Hubble Space Telescope and other astrophotographers. These images have inspired many to want to take up the hobby. However, some of the equipment is either extremely expensive or very complicated to use. But that doesn't mean it's not accessible to everyone. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take pictures of the stars with just the camera on your phone. Most, if not all, mobile phones now come with cameras. They all come at different uh, abilities. This is an iPhone 12 and actually has nighttime ability camera on it. Um, and some of the other phones, like the latest Samsung and the Google Pixel, actually have astrophotography settings built into them. If you have one of these phones, you could just use those settings, but there are apps that can also help you. So any phone you have, so if you have an older iPhone or an older Samsung, you can download an app, and there's a good one called Nightcap, and this actually gives you lots of different settings for different star pictures. So we can do star mode, star trails, long exposures, light trails, we've even got meteor mode. So there's many modes in there and I'm going to show you some pictures uh, that I took with this uh, app and this phone uh, the other night. Another app that's very useful, this one's called Sky Guide, but there's many of them and if you look on any, any of the Play Store or the App Store you'll see them and what they give you is an overlay of where the phone is pointing. So whichever part of the sky you're actually aiming the phone at, it will give you an overlay and show you all of the stars, planets and other things that are up there. So this helps you locate certain things. So you might be looking to say look at the Pleiades star cluster or you might want to look at where Mars is or something like that. This will help you find it. A lot of them have search facilities as well. So you could put in there something that you were looking for and then it will give you an arrow pointing you towards where it is. So this will help you locate the phone into the right area of sky that you're interested in. One of the good things to start with is the moon. It's uh, nice and easy to find and quite easy to get into the uh, screen of the phone for photographs. You can just prop the phone up for photographs but one of the things you'll know with night time or you'll learn with nighttime photography, especially astrophotography, is you need to do longer exposures. That nightcap uh, app will do that for you automatically. So you need to have the phone held steady, and the best thing to do is to prop it up against something. There has been people that have shown the phones sitting in the back of a shoe, and that can actually work quite well. The best thing to use, however, would be a tripod. So if you have a camera tripod or something like that, it can be used. So there are some adapters that you can get for your phone quite easily, available online, and they're not expensive. Um, I suggest uh, that when you do have a look at them, that you try and get one that's got the, the locking clamp with a screw, because it will hold your, fur, your phone a lot firmer. They do have ones with springs, but they can be a bit flimsy and if you've got an expensive heavy phone sitting in it um, it might be better just to just have something that holds it a bit better so we just put the phone into a clamp and this is a nice one as it can um, I think I got this from uh, Amazon and as I say it can hold it in portrait or in landscape and then this here just screws onto the top of a tripod and you might have a ball head or something so you can move it about and get it into exact position that you want it into so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the camera 
or the phone should I say, set up in the night and uh, show you some of the images that I've taken with it. Now the moon can be quite a difficult object to capture because of its brightness but with a lot of these apps I've zoomed right the way in and it's allowed me to bring the exposure down so that the moon isn't so bright and it actually looks quite dark. And what we need to do is just get the moon into the middle of the shot. Thank you for watching the video and I hope it's inspired you to want to get out with your phones and take some pictures of the stars. I'd certainly like to see what you get. I'm going to put a link at the top of the screen to the Nightcap app where I'm going to do a more in-depth video on the features and how to use it. Please keep an eye out for my next video which will be to progress on further and use your phone with either a set of binoculars or a telescope to get even better images. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, I'd like to wish you all clear skies.